In this Photoshop demo, we're going to take a look at how you can change the color of a building and its windows. Hi everyone, my name is Joe Petralia with Evervisions. In this demo, we're going to take a look at things like hue saturation, adjustment layers, and color balance adjustment layers, uh, and uh, other selection techniques like quick selection and uh, color range to go about changing the color of a building. These techniques are going to allow you to really set the basis of how you might go ahead and change the color of an object or something. It really starts with a good selection and then using your hue saturation and color balance layers to alter the color. It's just one way to get, to get started doing that. All right, let's take a look at how to do it. All right, here we are in Photoshop and we're looking at a photo of a red building with red windows in New Orleans, Louisiana. I think it was in the French Quarter where I took this. If it wasn't, it was in the downtown area or the Garden District. But uh, let's go ahead and get started and see how we can change the color of both the building color and the, and the windows. Um, and this will really serve as your basis for changing the colors of any type of object in Photoshop, at least one of the ways you could do you could do so. So let's get started. I've got my quick selection tool selected and I'm just gonna paint over the red uh, portions of the building here and you can see it's gonna do a pretty good job since we have some um, very distinct edges between the red and the white columns that are in between the levels of this building. But it selects my windows out down here. So let's hold the alter option and uh, just paint over the window area and it'll select those out. We can even do this guy here, the little light, light post. And that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna load this selection into a hue saturation adjustment layer. It's gonna put that selection into a mask for me, which is great. I'm gonna hit colorize. And uh, now we can really just play around with changing the color of the, the building. You can see it's, it's because we made a pretty good selection. I mean, we could clean it up right here if we wanted to, but for the most part, you get the idea. Uh, we can we can go to town and really do whatever we want and change this building color. Uh, pretty cool. So let's choose a, like a green, maybe a little bit darker, maybe something like that. That looks pretty good. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, now uh, let's. Uh, how do we select out the windows? I'll show you a different method. Uh, instead of using the quick selection tool, um, you can use a select color range and make sure you deselect your hue saturation layer and select your background layer and go up to select and color range and just click right here in the windows and you can adjust this fuzziness slider which is sort of like a tolerance slider uh, to make sure that you get all the pieces of the window that you that you want um, I'm gonna go uh, all the way up and it looks like it's doing a pretty good job of selecting what I want I'm gonna hit OK and then I'm going to go down here and first I'll choose, uh, let's try a color, a color balance layer. And this will let us uh, tinker around with the shadows and the highlights and the, and the midtones. And uh, I'm going to drag this one up to, let's say like maybe 75 or maybe let's go this way. My 75, uh, let's do this, 63, looks pretty good. Um, all right, let's uh, go down here. Let's switch this to our highlights and drag this down a little bit. Um, maybe down this way a little bit. And maybe something like that. And let's try our shadows. And we'll go down about 50 or so. Let's take this up just a little bit. And uh, maybe we'll go down a little bit here. Um, that looks kind of weird though. It's kind of like a neon. Uh, we can even we can even um, add a hue saturation layer and kind of do the same thing we did with the, uh, the building color and, and uh, let's say we want to apply the same mask. I can hold Alt or Option and drag that mask. So now we have the hue saturation uh, layer using the same mask as the color balance layer that we selected. And um, now we can we can change the global color of, of those windows and by clicking that colorize and let's say we want to make like a, a Joker style. Um, you know, building or something like that. Uh, we can change the windows to like a like a purple color. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Uh, bring that down just a little bit like that, a little darker. Um, so there you go. That's really the secret. The secret to it, or it's one of the ways you can start changing 
the colors of objects uh, in your images. You can uh, use the color balance and the hue saturation layers and uh, check this colorized layer and that will uh, perform sort of like a global color change. And uh, But you just have to make some really good selections. And fortunately in this image, the, it was easy to make the, the selections that we wanted. There's obviously going to be tons of images where the selections aren't as easy to make as this one, but uh, those are the techniques you can use to kind of get started. Okay, guys, thanks for checking out the video. Uh, please stay tuned to evervisions.com or please subscribe to the YouTube channel to see some new videos that I'll be updating uh, throughout each week. And I know there's a lot of places that you can get uh, Photoshop photography and Lightroom information. So again, thanks for checking me out and uh, stay tuned. Also, check out the evervisions.com website to see my uh, three-part Seascape tutorial where I'll first show you how to use Lightroom only with one exposure to add some punch and pop to a Seascape image. Next, we'll take three bracketed images, bring them into Photomatix, juice them up a little bit, and then bring them back into Lightroom for some further juice. And then in the third part, we'll use Photoshop and a luminosity masking technique to really make that one shine and pop and uh, look a little bit more professional. Uh, talk to you later. Thanks again.